Hi, and welcome to the Spirit of the Valley. Don't mind us, we're just talking to ourselves, as usual. Um, today is our annual, second annual, wrap-up show from the Prouty, which always has some interesting news in it, and this is why we do it, to get um, familiar with any changes, any, any news. I mean, you've got, you all have news, but anyway, Rowan Carroll, who's our Olympic rower, Jean Brown, who's the executive director, director of, the of the North Friends, Friends of North Cotton, Kansas. and Judy Satari, who's in charge of all the walkers, and she is the, see it, say it. I'm the co-chair of the Prouty Executive Thank you. Committee. This Newly year. appointed and Newly raised, appointed. raised exactly. given appropriately. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> um, it, I'm, I'm often all, almost tempted to have Judy go first. Yes, she has it. some of the most fun stats to Absolutely. talk I do. about. I have really good stats, really good news. Great. Um, because when we met before, I was telling you about all of the things that we hoped would jazz up the walk. And I'm here to tell you that the 20th anniversary of the Prouty Walk was a huge, huge success. It was really awesome. Um, by some counts, we had 1,800 walkers. And by other counts, we had as many as 1,900 walkers. Wow. Um, any way you look at it, that's an increase of um, about 300 walkers at least. Wow. So that's a, a big, big increase for yeah. the walk. It's really exciting. Um, I think the biggest news, the best news for the Prouty, since we are a fundraiser, is that we met our challenge and we received the $15,000 from the Byrne Foundation. And that challenge um, was that we would be given $50, the Prouty would be given $50 for every walker over 1,400 walkers. And uh, the limit was 1,700 walkers, and we clearly made the challenge. And um, it was really, really, very, very exciting. It was huge. It was huge. And you had a celebrity this year. Um, yes, we did. We had a featured celebrity, um, Dark, Dr. Israel, walked the Audrey um, walk, which is a 3K walk, and um, invited people to come walk with him. And um, there were several intrepid walkers who went with Dr. Israel around the 3K. Um, it was great fun. Is he like the Pied Piper? Um, a bit, yes. because he did pick up walkers as he walked along. There were more people. <laughs> that walked along. And people that didn't even want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the other things that we've heard back from that were very, very popular, um, we merged the residential walk with the wooded walk at the very end so that they entered the site <sighs> back together, and that was very, very popular. Um, we really did have a red carpet, and the walkers had their very own red carpet um, to enter the site. Um, um, through the balloon arch. That was very, very popular. And um, I've heard tell that there was some mystery cheerleader out on the route dressed up in a zany costume riding on a scooter. I have um, a picture of that, actually, that know, should, should show itself right up here someday. That was also a challenge, <laughs> but we're not going to go there. But it was, um, oh, it was really? a fun day. It was really a fun day for walkers. Um, many college students out on the walk route this year yeah. and a lot more action on the wooded walk, which is always good, good to know about because it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful walk it and a, a bit of a challenge as well. It's not yeah. an easy walk and um, had a lot more people on the wooded walk this year, so it was good. I was, I was really made aware of the increase in number of college students. Their they, presence was huge this year, yeah. night and day. It was kind of fun yeah. to see because they're all getting into more. Um, I'm, I've got a group coming next week that are, that Nini and different people, Chad has gotten together with the Interfraternity Council. And the heads of all of those groups are coming in to talk about their involvement with Chad, but also totally community involved now with so many neat yeah. civic things. So the college itself is, is growing in, in their interest in numbers. It's a great resource. Yeah. It, it is, is a, a great, great resource, resource, and it would yeah. be such a waste if, if... And there's some wonderful kids there, and exactly. they're all out there promoting things like this, and mm -hmm. it's all good. It is. That's exciting what so you it did. Was, it was great. It Take was a, a bow. A great day for and the a, And if you're afraid of that picture showing up, just keep being afraid. <laughs> <laughs> It was it was a it was a fairy godmother. It was, it was the it walk's was, you were, fairy it was godmother. It was the hit of the day when you come back there and there's a little person zooming around in her Ronald McDonald outfit <laughs> on a scooter. On a scooter, and people just couldn't get over what yeah, it was, was happening. It was a lot of fun. Well, it should have been. I'd, I'd like that job. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, I'll teach you how to drive. My yeah, right. Okay. My scooter. Next year you can. Next year I can. You can negotiate. Take on another thing. Um, <laughs> your numbers. So uh, we were thrilled at the end of the day. So this was in uh, 2012. It was um, the 20th anniversary of the walk. It was the second year for the row. 
and it was the fifth year for the ultimate, and it was the 31st year for the Prouty. And we had record everything, mm -hmm. basically. So we had the more participants than we've ever had. We had 5,034 show up, and we ha raised um, 2 million Five hundred and fifty. I think we're up to fifty-six thousand dollars, and and it keeps coming in as matching gifts from corporations. And come does in. it come in all year? I mean, it does. No end. When It'll come in all year. Get things sent to you. No, that's right. We, essentially, the the website goes off the day we turn on next year's uh, website. So anyone who has any uh, donations that were in their pocket or in a drawer or gosh. People want to know, can they still? The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's it yes, what, it's whenever. It's yes, <laughs> yes. and it, the website name is uh, theprouty.org. And they're welcome to go online, or you can send in donations to the Prouty at One Medical Center Drive in Lebanon, New Hampshire, 03756. There probably are still people out there finding checks in their drawer that they forgot that someone gave oh, them. That's true. I got a few ladies. That's true. It's, it's absolutely true. And we also had people from uh, more states. We had 36 states. Mm -hmm. Um, no, people states. come from 36 really? states. So th the virtual is, is one of the things we are um, reminding people they can do. So you can't be at the Prouty on that mm -hmm. day. You've got a glorious trip to Switzerland. Fine. <laughs> do the Prouty in Switzerland. Be just, you know, just say you're doing the Prouty in Switzerland just and just send us a picture. Right. You know, walk. I, you know, the Alps are always good for the walk. <laughs> have a, a, a little more challenging than, <laughs> than the wooden walk, but always a lot of fun. So. A backdrop could be tomorrow. Yeah, yeah exactly. my kids did it in Colorado, and they they went out. Exactly, and, yep. we love and it. Just love feeling that send they us were the kind pictures. Of parallel with we put us. them up. Yeah, exactly. Now, Miss Rowan, we had a fabulous row. Yeah, it was. We couldn't have asked for better water. Yeah, it was. We're very lucky that the they closed the dam for the Prouty. Right. So there is very little current. So rather than battling upstream and then coming back, yeah. you've got this nice 10 mile row up <sighs> and 10 mile row Pretty back. Pretty much the same both ways. Yes. Ah. And then we had, we went up about 10% in numbers who actually turned up and rode. Yeah. And we had about 25 people who signed up to row, did the fundraising and then didn't come okay. because they were on vacation or yeah. some oh, reason. They were like virtuals. Yeah. So we were really pleased with the number of rowers we had this year. And like you said, we had a Dartmouth sophomore eight oh, uh, mixed. Nice. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, that's oh, cool. and, and we had our Syracuse alumni eight. So we had a really good group of people, you know, five or six eights. The majority are in singles and doubles. And 90% of the people row 20 miles. The and the, the temptation to row the full 20 is that we have a fabulous breakfast at the halfway mark at the Lime Bridge. And we have... Like a rowing sag stop. Oh, my gosh. Right? It's well, you wonderful. were talking last year about this growing, that part mm -hmm. of it getting to be something quite spectacular We had... Um, they were cooking scrambled eggs and breakfast sandwiches, fresh cut fruit. I'm going rowing. Oh, oh no. my gosh, yeah. Really? Yeah, oh. the only bad thing was you didn't want to leave to row back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you were so fortified to do it. Exactly, exactly. But, but why not make a party of it? You have all day. Yeah. Well, well you don't. You have a cutoff time. Yes. W in order to get back so that we can then get up to the Richmond Middle School, because our aim is... We've got this fabulous event, which is unusual. Very few places right. can you row 20 miles in spectacular water and... In a day you couldn't beat. Yeah. But when we get back, we want to make sure that everyone still realizes they're part of the bigger Prouty, because although it's a unique rowing event, it's an even more unique fundraising it's event. It's a piece of another, yeah. Yeah, and so we had a great... What worked better this year, which hadn't last year, was we had um, bus service taking us from the river to the school. Perfect. And so we really try to incorporate everyone in both portions. Because the spirit yeah. basically starts at Richmond. And right. yeah. I was on a team that right. sort of did something I've kidded them about. They had their own little dinner in their house out in Lyme. 
And I said, on Friday I don't night. really want to be on a team that doesn't want to be at Richmond on Friday. Ah. So my husband, Sorry. My, they're friends, too. And I, I thought, why do you do that? And she said, because we don't all want to come into Hanover at all. Mm. I said, such a long way. And so Jim went out there, had a beer with them, and then met me at the dinner. Oh, so that's that nice. I could do that, that because nice. he yeah. was my chauffeur from the yeah. Uh, dorm. Oh, uh, yeah, good. So <laughs> I got to, he did both, because he felt torn. Yeah. Um, but I've been kidding them ever since that we don't accept boycotts here. <laughs> and they said this wasn't a boycott. I said, I know, but I'm going to call it that. Aww. Because it does start at Richmond. It does start at Richmond and School. And the whole camaraderie thing begins with that mm. dinner. Yeah, it's nice. And the registration, and that's where it's all so alive. It's just mm -hmm. palpable. Yeah, and, and you really boat. see how many volunteers there are. Oh. When you... The, I mean, most people know you have two different color t-shirts. You have a t-shirt for a participant and a t-shirt for a volunteer. And you have the C of the same t-shirt with the Prouty yep. logo on it, all the sponsors. Right. And then when you're up there and you see actually how many people it takes to volunteer to put this on, it's outstanding. It, it, it actually is overwhelming to mm. see how many yellow shirts were out there that night. I mean, I yeah. was wearing well, them. Well, and we had record numbers of volunteers as well, because mm. we need so many But volunteers. I think people, yeah. it's something people really want to work for. They really, it's yes. fun. something they might, may, may not be into volunteering in general, but this is something that gets people out there. I mean, I sat down at that dorm at Talk. I was going to say, we got Judy volunteering. Yeah. Judy is key to the ultimate now. She was our hospitality manager were, right up here. There and were two hours where no one showed up. Oh, so no. I've, oh, no. I've already <laughs> modified it in my own mind. Okay. <laughs> mm. We're working on it. We always wanna, it's always evolving. That's uh -huh. what's also yes. fun about the project. Uh -huh. it, it, it's nothing stagnant about it right. in, with the venue. Now, venue is a subject you need to talk about, a new venue next year. Oh, a new, oh, well, this is right. But, I mean, you, the, the coordination with the... Yeah. So one of the things yeah. we're looking to do next year, and, and this really builds on rowing, because rowing came to us yeah. and, and had a passion for the outdoors, and although we'd always only been, you know, walking and cycling, what do you mean, going to go on the water? Yeah, we're going to go on the water. Why not? So we have... Uh, arrange to add another sport to the Prouty, and we're going to golf. We're going to be golfing next year. We're going to be golfing at the Hanover so Country Club, cool. and we are working out the details even as we speak, but it should be um, a Prouty uh, event choice in the sense. It'll, I think it'll be a, a registration type when you come mm -hmm. to the front, you know, sure. when you get to that point. Yeah. But you're going to, it'll be $150 or whatever the minimums are, and you'll go golf 18 holes and then our challenge is to make it feel like you're at the Prouty while you're golfing and then how to get people back to the Prouty if they're interested in doing it and how to make them feel like same thing you've done yeah they can have a water hole where they have to get the ball over the river and then back again <laughs> <laughs> oh that's a good I idea think you're going to be in the middle yeah, of the golf ball of rowing. Exactly. You can sell afterwards i was <laughs> thinking of some way of attaching them when they come to the hole by the uh, um Hanover Fire Station, yeah. yes. somehow connecting that with the Richmond Middle School because it's, it's right, right down right across is. the yeah. street. Right there, yeah. and it, um, it, it would be great if that was the last hole. It would be, it would be it wonderful. Would be so we simple. actually thought about could we start just, there and end there, but of to, course, go to ten the myriad stop. details that yeah. happened after that made it impossible. But it was a good concept, you know, because then they could just walk yes. across the street. But it's so neat to have some more people working with you on this. Another it's whole wonderful. Uh, I went and talked. In fact, I went to the. Um, the fall foliage scramble on Sunday oh, at the Hanover yeah. Country Club on Sunday, just to introduce it to the golfers who were there. And it was really cute because this one guy said, well, yeah, good, that's great, because now I don't have to feel so guilty about golfing on the Prouty. Oh, <laughs> that yeah. is cute. That so is very cute. He's validated He'll now. be able to golf, and <laughs> yeah. he won't feel no guilty. No one's going to be nagging that's him. Right. He should be doing something else. Well, and he gets to be part of a, an event that really um, includes the entire well, this Upper is, Valley. So, right? you know, this is the a win -win. that yes. everyone loves. So if, if people are listening or watching, and they have an idea for a sport that should be included, Come on, give You'll it to us. Let's Frisbee talk about it. Who knows? I mean, kinds of as long as it fits and it's appropriate, why not? If, if well, you have a passion for the outdoors and you want to raise money through it for cancer research and patient services, then I say, if we can do it, yes. And another good thing about it is it will help. It will stave off again further that capping of yeah. the biking yeah. that you don't want to yeah. have to do. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Every time you can spread someone out in a different yeah. direction that might have been on a bike, exactly. reaching near the cap, That's right. then you, you feel relieved. That's right. But you might want to mention that too. That we... The 75, 80. Oh, well, yeah, because I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, dear. Okay, so The thing that I felt this year, I happened to be driving in Enfield on the first day of the Ultimate, and I felt so sorry for them as they came all the way through 4A in the roadworks. And now the road is perfect. This of lovely, course. flat, uh, gorgeous course. road. Because they're, oh, yeah. And the poor cyclists, you know, they're coming in the last stretch yeah. to get into Hanover, yeah. and it's just... Horrible. Oh. <laughs> Well, and we're always working. So, I mean, mm. Judy was mentioning something that what, what Bruce Bouchard, our operations manager, has been working on for at least three years. He was so excited. He wanted to make a 75-mile route in Vermont. That you right? talked about. I was so go about over that. on the Ledyard Bridge and get over yes. to Vermont and come back and would really relieve the stress on the on And the Vermont tent. will be that much more involved. Be lovely. I mean, it's still but it isn't going to work. Based in Hanover. It in, isn't going to work. New Hampshire. After all those years, there was he found people who had to do sags. He found the route. Irene had first they needed to, to pave it, okay, and then Irene <laughs> happened and they That's couldn't pave it. Whole thing. <laughs> well, but, but they couldn't repave it. They couldn't yeah. pave it for another two years because of the construction yeah. for Irene. And in the ensuing time, a really very good um, flea market in Chelsea got written up in the New York magazine. Yes. And it trebled in size. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. On the very day that the priority is. And it has made it impossible. You can't get through. You can't get through. Oh, you right. can't put that many bikes on the road with that many cars coming up oh, the road. Because there's no destination for the. Yeah. It's a destination. Yes. So it's like, oh my goodness. Oh, well, who would ever have thought a flea have, market who'd could have thunk beat the crowd, Prouty? Well, could it could affect could it that, that much? Funny? Oh. It must be enormous. Isn't that funny? Well, I, I guess it's pretty mm. significant now. It really yeah. is. And they're not going to change the day because they're not stupid. You know? well, of course not. <laughs> They've got people knowing Speaking that that's when it day, is. Speaking of the day, we haven't even talked about it yet. July 13th. Dang. Now, let me be very clear to people. Okay. July 13th is the second Saturday in July. It is not the one directly after July 4th. It gets to be that one, but it's not. So the Prouty date moves from the 14th, which is what it was last year, and it goes all the way, it can get as close as the 8th. And then it just wends its way down, except for leap year, and then it jumps down two days. So this year it's the 13th. But I had so many people saying, but, but it moved. I went, well, <laughs> kind of it moved. It was okay. always yeah, it the second Saturday, Saturday, but it didn't move, didn't yes. change the week it was on, yes. but it moves, the second Saturday moves more substantially. So the ultimate is, is the 12th? It's going to be the 12th. And, what um, do you do when it's Friday the 13th? It was last, last year. year. It was. And you just they started, they came the up 13th. from Manchester. They did okay. We didn't. Any disasters? We didn't address it, no. Oh. <laughs> because no one brought Thank it up. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we knew. Oh, no, we they knew, but it. no one made a big we deal of it. it. But, yeah, it, it does confuse people. It's easier to just say the second Saturday the second of the month. Saturday, and yeah. and it has ever date. been thus. I mean, for 31 right. years. That's the date obviously changes. Okay, so golf. Now I'm just thinking. I, I'm thinking frisbee. I'm thinking lots of things nah, you can do. Fris frisbee. Yeah, frisbee's okay, but the ultimate you can play frisbee. frisbee on your own. Yeah. Right. Would you pay? Would you fundraise to play frisbee? Nope. Yeah, I'm not sure. No. Nope. Yeah. I'm just trying to think hockey. of things. Hockey. Somebody see a has suggested a hockey. Somebody has suggested swimming. Somebody has suggested mm -hmm. horseback riding. All of which would be great. We just mm -hmm. have to do it. Hockey would be tricky with the rink dry in the winter and the. Management of the rink is at stores. Oh, well, see, there you go. Or do you do it some other time and it becomes a Prouty Challenge event? Oh, so, oh, oh. how about of if I explain what that means? There is this um, idea we've had if it's an event that is related to the Prouty, in that maybe the Friends produces it, and it raises money for the Cancer Center, and it's an outdoor mm -hmm. event. It becomes kind of like a Prouty Challenge event, kind of a sub. Like the Kilimanjaro. Like Kilimanjaro, <laughs> which we exactly. can talk about. <laughs> so that, so that mm -hmm. there's a class of event called a Prouty Challenge event, which just doesn't happen on the day of the Prouty. But, but otherwise, it would fit totally perfectly. Connected. Right. Tell me about the, how is that coming? The Kilimanjaro, well, we've got some people who are going to, maybe Tom's going to do it next year. We've got some people who are climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. That's the tallest peak in Africa starting December 11th, and they're going for 10 days. It's being wow. led by Wes Chapman, yep. 
who is amazing. He's amazing. And I think we have six people going this year, five or six people. I think that's about right, yes. And we have a guide who comes from um, the Dartmouth Outing Club, and she's a grad student. Her name is Kelly Michelson. Wonderful. And one of our guides, and then, then there's lots and lots of guides that they use in Once Africa. They're there in, in with the yeah, African voyages, I think is what it's called. I'm amazed. And they're going to do it. I'm impressed that he's got six. Isn't that? I mean, that's a I'm huge impressed. thing to yeah, recruit for. Yeah. But he's done that uh, for years, so he probably has enough. He's a big buddies. climber. He is a big climber. He's a big. Well, actually, we found some people in the Proudy who, who stepped up and said they want to do it. Someone I know who was doing the ultimate, two people who were doing the ultimate wanted to wow. do this. And, and we have a young girl, you know, Mark Green's daughter, mm -hmm. Hannah Green, yes. can't do it this year, but she wants to do it next year. So it's She's, already a, an annual. We want it to be an annual. We certainly do, because you do, you know, you set up, you do the work to set yeah, it yeah, up, exactly. and, and it should, it should yeah. be and then it's almost automatic it would right. be nice if But it also word of mouth helps build it, so right. the next year com could come back as one of the greatest Hopefully. things that ever happened. Well, you know, nothing, nothing ends up that big that fast, but it is... That's a big one to even... It is, a, it is certainly a passion for people, I think. Right. Those who like to climb really mm. like to climb. Oh. There is a cancer center in the West Coast, uh, the... Fred, huh. anyway, I can't think of its name. It somebody. raises a million dollars a year in mountaineering, climbing, wow. climbing just, peaks. Just in that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's phenomenal. So there has even been talk about the peaks in New Hampshire right. um, making that. Yeah, see, that would be another yeah, one because exactly. a lot of people do that regularly, not just once in a lifetime, but. Well, Wes was trying to get you, if you, if you did 48 for a cure, as it were, if you did 48 in mm -hmm. a year or however many years, you know, you, you could get $200 a, you know, a, a mountaintop or get people give you $25 mm -hmm. every time you climbed one or something like that. He had all sorts of ideas. He had that as I worked, at, I consulted with him for, on fitness over there, and he had incentives for his employees, which yeah. were things like $100 for every 4,000 foot peak you climbed, $100 right. for... Um, well, it's obvious things like quitting smoking and but yeah. for this is keeping, to employees the to keep them healthy. Yeah, gym work, gym time, running, walking. He had walking nice. clubs. He had climbing clubs he, that he would lead, and it was the most wonderful incentivizing because he saved a fortune in premiums. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was it was just an amazing situation. But I had to go in and measure them and periodically and make sure they were keeping their goals. I love online. It. it was great it's fun. Good. But I heard a lot about his mountain climbing, so I'm impressed that he's stuck he did with it. it. It's good. He did it. So we we have the, the most important things down, which are the date, July thirteenth. Yep. The um, website. The new what? The website. The, the proudy proudy dot org. org. It doesn't right. get much Everybody simpler. together. It the does proudy. not get simpler. Um, new addition golf. I'm told Jean I wished I could do both. It was hard. Um, but it's my fifty year, so I have to do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I turned your mother's age this week. <gasps> Congratulations. And um, so we've got new stuff, old stuff, all of it as much fun as ever and growing. And some other things up our sleeves, but you're not. Well, the person in that to talk about <laughs> the, quite yet. the person in the clown costume is kind of a devious little imp. Oh, well, <laughs> well, we're thinking of ways to um, connect to um, some of the things that are going on in town and um, at um, um, the Hopkins Center for Performing Arts. So, the 50th. So, so we have there's some some right because it's the year of the art. It's yeah. the 50th 50th anniversary of, of the Hop. Yeah, that's yeah. a big year. Yeah. Wow. There, you, there's no end to how you can connect this. No. Apparently. No. And um, Bruce, not to be thwarted by his inability to get the Vermont route um, going, is going to add um, the possibility within New Hampshire to have an 80-mile route in um, New Hampshire as well. So there are there are always right. small tweaks that are being made could, to the yeah. event to um, accommodate people who who suggest, make suggestions to yeah, us. Right. We can't respond to all suggestions, but That's we right. take the suggestions pretty seriously. Well, look, look how yours has grown. Um, talk about inclusive. You've made that so that everybody can do it. I mean, you, oh, could, yeah. you could push a wheelchair. Right. Well, along. that was the, the advent of the, the 3K. The 3K. It yeah. really was wonderful um, for that. So it, either if you, you know, anyone can walk, so most people can do the walking. If they don't do rowing, biking, Golfing. Um, 
So the, I think the word inclusive is, is yeah. one of the biggest words I think of when I think of the priority because everybody can be involved. Well, and we, we came up with um, a pretty obvious tagline to the priority, which is it's the community coming together to fight cancer. Amen. Mm. Yes. And that's, it is, I mean, to us yeah. it is the community because there's so much of the community yeah. and everything. And, and then why, why not? Why, why can't we do that? Right. Yeah. It's happening in the community. Your, right. your, popula your people, your staff, right. your helpers are all... And cancer from, is in the community. Oh, Cancer's a, in that's, the community. That's, that's it's everywhere. Whole, whole the people whole participating story. are, you know, you've got the youngest, youngest children doing 50-mile bike rides, yeah. which is astounding. And we had, I think our you youngest young was 11. Yeah, and ah. then we had, you know, within the rowing, most of the people rowed sliding seat boats, but we had two people who were on fixed seat boats. You know, still the, you face backwards, but, like you know. Like rowboats? Uh, no. Not row. But the same basic thing in the, the uh, seated. Just they didn't have the sliding seat. Oh, okay. So I'm not sure what they're technically called, but, you know, the within the sport that we had and the cycling right. and the walking yeah. you've got all ages all abilities Absolutely. you know we had some people who could only row you know two miles there and two miles back and that was all they wanted to do and then you had people wanting to row the full 20. you know well, it's like just last such year a great you said you changed your mind oh at, yeah at about seven you thought that's enough and then you said, oh, we're only three miles away. Uh, We've yeah. got to keep going. Well, what my, uh, Heidi and I had been organizing, so we, you know, we didn't think we had time, time because right. we were making sure everything had set up, exactly. sending people off. And then we got to the seven miles, which was where we were going to turn around. And we were like, oh, it's only three more miles. We can just make it. So. Well, and I know we're, we're going to wrap up in a second. I'm sorry, but I, sure. I want to just reiterate to, to the audience what it means to have people like Rowan and Heidi and Karen and Judy and Carolyn Fry, who's the other mm. Priority Executive right. Chair. The amount of time that you mm. give to us to make this work is really extraordinary. And we couldn't do it without you, but we are incredibly grateful. You could, but we're glad you let us help. <laughs> 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 it's, it's probably one of the happiest jobs people take on. Well, I, I think. Yeah. And, and one of my favorite days of the entire year is when mm. the tents go up on the Richmond Middle yes. School fields. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's and cute. It's by far one of my favorite days of the entire year mm. because it means it's it's almost here. Yeah. And I sacrificed this year and had all my nails cut off so that they could do, you know that tent. The yes, you went tent. to the. <laughs> they to were the research. They're going to be able to use fingernails to identify bodies. Uh, radiation. Not just radiation, radiation, but not just dental work. For, right. I mean, so I just kind of got sucked into that. And I thought, Aren't you why nice? Not? And I Aren't spent the whole nice? Friday night filing them <laughs> off because they all had jagged edges, very strange corners. Um, <laughs> but 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 the, but you do it. You're the spirit over there. You don't have to be talked into anything. No. And the no. food is good. The food is good. And the, food the camaraderie. The what music is great. What was bought? I oh, oh, wasn't that good? Oh. That, that was, was oh great. Okay. Okay. And then Boloco had bowls. We had mm. bowls for the first time. They, which that was, was a great very addition. popular. Yeah. And the music is terrific. And the music is mm. great. And I think I don't know it, anyone out there that, that hasn't done this. Even if you want to come and just observe, it's it's something so special you can't even really put it in words. We don't right. do it justice. Better you volunteer. Participate. Volunteer. Write a check. That's yeah. really what we're after. <laughs> but um, you can do a minimum amount of. You know, you yeah. can take one stint of something yeah, and, and, no, and be a part and, of it and, and raise a few funds because that makes you feel even better yeah but you could be involved whoever you are watching us right now um, at with no effort whatsoever or a lot of effort and can I just say that it makes a difference the money we raise yeah, is crucial to the cancer center to patient services to the research to find an end it, it's not like it's just going into this black hole it mm. matters and it's like our own little stimulus package right here it's for true. the upper valley Two and a half million dollars stays right here, and and we I think make what progress. was described was it uh, when we were talking and Dr. Israel spoke that it's seed money that goes, and then every dollar that yeah. we raise in the Prouty grows. That's exactly. right. So it isn't two and a half million 
It's, it's a lot more. It's a lot Twenty more. million. It's mm. thirty. That's exactly right. Yeah. Said, we can give someone a twenty-five thousand dollar little mm. seed grant to go do some d experiment and get some data. They take that data over to the federal government to, or to a grant. foundation, and they'll get a multi-million dollar exactly. grant, which is yeah. just shows you how good the science is. I always think, but and it's yes. also fun. I think the local part is really fun though, because the money doesn't go anywhere but here. It isn't like part of it is for this, and the rest goes. Who knows where? And that's one of the reasons why we were so thrilled with the participants that we saw with rowing. I mean, we have a smaller number, so we we know you where know everyone them. comes yeah. from. And the stories that people have about why they're participating, the cancer center might not be local to them, right? like the Syracuse alumni vote. Exactly. But it matters to them to come and do it every year For because of what they've had happen to them in their family. Exactly. And you know, the Dartmouth, the Dartmouth students who are participating, they won't necessarily end up here, they might come back here, but the sense of community that you get around this event yeah. is so heartening. It's, it's yeah. palpable when you're mm. on the grounds. It's, it's just something amazing. But even out of town, the cure, if, the, if this happened to be where something, some mm. breakthrough happens, it's going to affect the series. Well, right, the research yeah. affects all over the world. Right. All over the yeah. world. So That's the cool part. Yeah. I mean, really whoever is. Is, has that magic bullet someday, um, uh, everybody wins. We'll get a lot of little bullets. Yeah, but everybody it's, wins. So yeah, everybody does. It, it, you don't have yeah. to keep it in your own town. You can go to someone yeah. else's. You guys, thank you. I, I love hearing the news. I love the growth. I think that's what's exciting. You've put exciting. a lot into that to get those numbers. Yeah. And um, so have you, and so you are the glue. <laughs> that, and my team. If you don't finish that team. sentence, it doesn't sound right. You're the yeah. girl that holds this whole thing together. She is <laughs> I'm sticky. That's yes, what I am. No, she's tenacious and all the things you have to do. And we couldn't do it without you. Oh. Yeah. Right. The, Look, here the we are. And really, all the things. really helps yeah. a lot. Yeah. I'm going to... Um, and it's easier now, too, to get this and link it to any place you want it to go. Good. So... That's nice. They need to know that. We'll Cindy put Pierce it put it on Facebook and, and it had 140 hits the first day. And they can now count hits on Vimeo. Perfect. Versus when they were just here yeah. to there. Good. So put it on Facebook. I'm going to have them take a quick picture of us. You can spread it on yours. I'll spread Good. it on mine. And yeah. off we go. So like thank you guys. I, thank I'm, you, I'm Judy. very so impressed by what you all do and how the numbers you bring in and the glue <laughs> sitting next to me. Ah. Um, that, that may be a new name. Um, I think I know her well enough to call her that. Call um, thank you for coming back with such good news, and it always is, and that's why this is always such a happy, positive show, because it's never going that way. It's always going up. Yeah. I, I can't see it not. I can't see it changing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've gotten the message about what fun this is. You'll, you'll be in a very small minority if you don't know about this now. Um, so get out of the minority and join up next year, theproudy.org, July 13th. Or if you want to do 200 miles, 13th and 14th. 12th and 13th. Oh, 12th. Oh, God, I'm on last year. It happens when you turn old. Um, but please, please keep it in mind. And if you want to just send a check, that's fine if you don't have the day, out, day to do it. But you can be very helpful in a number of ways. So water, biking golfing, ick, and walking. Um, I'll never forget her reaction to that, ever. Uh, thank you all for watching, and we will, I will put on my Facebook, and we will share our Facebook pages with our own little worlds, and when this will air, and don't miss it. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.